Hello. Boxing day up at Mount Macedon. Beautiful day for it. Let's cover a little cruise on the back roads. All the normal roads are really well, pretty busy. So just have a look around. It's always nice up here. Such a good ride up the hill. I'll probably do it again. It's just so pretty green. Can't beat it. So first video since I uploaded my first camping trip one. Yeah, that was fun. The camp, the camping trip was anyway. The editing and everything was a bit of a pain in the ass. Just figuring it all out. Took a lot longer than I wanted it to. I sort of expected it would take a while. So I've never really got into videos because there's so much editing. But um, yeah, using different software. What did I try? The, I had the uh, Adobe Premiere Pro trial. Um, that was pretty good, but it was only a trial, but uh, I had problems exporting. Uh, I think I made it too long, the video, in the end, anyway, but <laughs> what do you do? Live and learn. Hopefully some people watched it and enjoyed it. Fuck, this is rocky. Um, I'm going the right way. I tried their, what is it, Premier Rush. It's pretty simple and basic. It's good to use, but it didn't have like a time lapse feature and all that that I wanted to use, so I had to fiddle around. And yeah, ex exporting was a pain in the ass. So if anyone has any good ideas, like what software is great and easy to use, I'm trying DaVinci Resolve next. I'll give that a crack. Um, that'd be handy. And what else? Yeah, I think my Mac, I had a MacBook Air. It was my girlfriend's, an older one. And I think that was a bit of an issue. I think it was a bit slow. RAM wise and everything. So that could have caused, probably caused most of the exporting issues and everything. So I got a new MacBook, which I wanted anyway. A newer MacBook Pro, which is nice. So hopefully that helps things. That's bloody neutral, isn't it? Um, and also I got a GoPro 4, not the Hero 2 that was a mate's. I didn't even own a GoPro, so I got a yeah, I got a second-hand GoPro 4, basically as new for yeah, pretty cheap off the local Facebook marketplace. Um, so I got Superview now, which is good. Hopefully that looks. I don't know. I sort of like it, but I don't. It makes things very flat and. Anything in the middle is very far away, but it's sort of, I don't know, it's got a look to it. It seems to make you look like you're going to be quicker than you are, which is probably a good thing. Because um, when you're just riding normally in that, we're not going that quick. It doesn't look great on the old one. Like, I'm just cruising around here on these back. This is the back way, well, down now. Probably looks flat. It's actually fairly steep. Back way down Mount Macedon. More fun coming up here. And yeah, it's really nice around here. I've never really had another car come the other way though, because it's really skinny, that'd be dodgy. But it's just beautiful, like ferns, palms. Still plenty of bugs around there. I had the visor open before and um and bugs in the face. But yeah, nice. Beautiful day for a ride. It's gonna be warm now though in the jacket and everything, but before coming up here, just perfect. No, like, you're not too hot, you're not cold, it's just the breeze is just nice. It's pretty, you can't beat it. This is the issue here, yeah, I've never really had this. This is dodgy as fuck. I don't think many people, I think only the houses, people that live up here come use this way. Not that many people use it or know about it. It's probably a good thing. A lot of these houses are just like summer houses for the for the rich people. <laughs> so they're probably not up here that often. I'm sure a lot of them are up here now though. Christmas holidays. Or well, not holidays. Back to work tomorrow, unfortunately. Really looking forward to that. 5 a.m. start apparently too. Yay. 
short changed on me little two day Christmas day boxing day break Back's tight around here should have came up this way Always easy coming up Rogan Seem to be able to see easier But everything's closed. Like the pub up here is pretty busy, that's closed, so it's dead. Like the cafe and that, that's all dead, but everyone's sort of up, going for walks. It's probably having picnics and sort of Christmas catch up stuff. Skinny road and very rough and bumpy. Oh, hard to see all the potholes in the shadows. Not ideal. What's he doing? What I might do? Head back up the hill the normal way. Super pretty way. And just chill. Get a bit of cool air in. You can't beat it up here this time of year. Well, everywhere else gets um, just hot and it's so dry, and up here is always just twice. It's pretty, it's barely a mountain. It's pretty small for a mountain. I think it's about a thousand meters. It's uh, just, yeah mountain air like it's so just that nice cool breeze always lush and green it's nice all these gardens open go for a walk This is loose. Getting warm up here. Loose gravel. Get a bit of air, eh? Ah. Open the visor straight away, get a bloody bug coming this side. Fuck, there's heaps around. Any problem with warm weather bugs? Sometimes when I ride, I even just late Arvo and sort of twilight time. So the visor just gets, I ride through parts just, I don't know, in the, not far from home, and he just, the visor gets completely covered in bugs. So I've had to stop and wipe it down <laughs> just so I can see. Like it's, you can't see through it, it's that bad. I don't understand it. The thing is, like it's, this time of year, like it's warm, but it's so dry too. Like, this doesn't seem suited to all these. I don't know what they are, they're not mosquitoes, they're like those little summer mosquitoes, but I don't know what sort of just flying insect thing. It's pretty loose around here. Shocking. Might turn around.
pretty loose is gravel. I haven't given it much and you start, start spinning a bit. The old bald tyre in the back probably doesn't help. Bald road tyre at that. Let's get a new one of them. <coughs> I want to get something a little bit chunkier. I only really need a rear. I need a front, so it won't match up. I don't know if that's a big issue or not. Let me know if it is. People know. It's so loose here, it feels like I've got a puncher. Probably do. No touch wood. I hate punches. Fuck punches. Surely not. But yeah, something a little bit more off-roady tyre would be nice. There's one that's equal or nearly as good on the road as well. I don't want to sit behind him. I'll go down the back side of the, the hill. Probably going to sit behind him anyway, aren't I? Maybe he flies. Not that I go very quick. Yeah, we're just cruising down here. I've caught him already. Caught him with a 10k hairpin. That's what I wanted. I don't know what it's called. It's like a, a neck guard or something on a helmet. I put, I sort of made my own out of like a wetsuity neoprene material stuff. Velcro underneath the chin. Um, so I'm hoping that sort of blocks a bit of the wind. It sounded quieter before, it feels okay. I've sort of rejigged the mic a bit, the dead cat's on there. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just hoping that sort of neck guardy thing blocks the wind coming through under there my neck. It sort of makes the helmet a bit more comfortable, more comfortable as well. Test, test, see how it works. I, I don't mind a little bit of wind, but it just, as long as it's not distracting, but then I want to balance it with like the, the exhaust note or sound, which at this speed when you just cruise along, like I can't even really hear it anyway, but yeah. Windier. Gonna hear the wind along here. It's pretty loud. Hopefully the exhaust note came through a bit more then though when you get on it. It seriously just depends on what way you're riding too. Feels like sometimes you're riding into a headwind and it's as loud as other times. Just so quiet. Probably leave the video there. It's a little update over Christmas, mono vlog, whatever you want to call this. I'll start uh, making them a lot more regularly, I think. Get another camping trip on the cards very shortly. So uh, if you want to see more, click subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.